Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect a controller to your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. So I will cover both how to connect the Xbox controller and the PlayStation controller in this video. Just keep in mind if you're planning on connecting a miscellaneous controller such as the Nintendo Wii controller or stuff like that, I will cover general instructions which you'll be able to follow in this video. So what you want to do is on the tablet itself, I want you to load up the settings app. And then inside the settings, I want you to tap into connections. It should be at the very top. And then from here, you want to find Bluetooth, tap into Bluetooth and make sure you have Bluetooth turned on. Once Bluetooth is turned on, on your controller, doesn't matter which controller you have, you want to turn on the controller. Now, keep in mind, most likely your controller is already paired to your console. And so what this means is let's say I turn on my Xbox Series S controller, it will also turn on the Xbox Series S console. You can turn off the console after you have turned on the controller, so just keep that in mind. So the next step is you need to place your controller into pairing mode. So the reason why I have the PlayStation controller here is because the steps are slightly different depending on which controller you have. So if you have the Xbox controller, what you do is you hold down this icon right here until the LED at the front starts blinking. Now on the PlayStation controller, this includes PS4, PS5, and any later PlayStation models. You're gonna see here the PlayStation button and the share button. You can see share button, PlayStation button. You're gonna press and hold both buttons at the same time until you see at the front here, a white blinking LED. So uh, we have the Xbox controller here. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm going to, uh, for the Xbox, just hold down this button until the LED starts blinking. So hold down. Once the uh, blinking starts, we can release. And so under available devices, you just want to wait until your controller shows up. Now, if you do have another controller, a miscellaneous controller, you, uh, that, uh, this step is you just need to put that controller into pairing mode, and then you can continue from here. So you can see nothing is showing up. So if that's the case, just tap on scan. If there was a stop option, tap on stop, then scan. And you can see under available devices, Xbox wireless controller. We're going to tap into this and we'll just wait for it to pair. Now keep in mind, if you have the PlayStation, it will show the PlayStation co uh, controller, etc. So it says couldn't pair. So we're going to rescan and we're going to try again. So we'll tap on the controller. And this time we had the Bluetooth pairing request. Let's tap on pair. And hopefully this time it will work. So if it doesn't work the first time, you just have to try again. It says couldn't pair. So if that's the case, we're gonna turn off Bluetooth. We're gonna turn on Bluetooth. I'm gonna run it again. So let's tap on the controller. Pair. And hopefully, there we go. You can see this time the controller has connected without fail. So it took a couple of attempts. I needed to turn off Bluetooth, then turn it back on. However, the end result is the Xbox wireless controller has been connected to my Tab S8 series. So, of course, if you have the PlayStation controller, you would see PlayStation controller here. And so what we can do is we can navigate the operating system by clicking on B or the circle. If you're using a miscellaneous controller, uh, I can't really help you with what uh, buttons to press. And of course, some games will support the controller, such as Minecraft, but not all games will support a controller. You should just keep that in mind. And uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.